Hebrews 1 verse 3, a verse that unveils the majestic glory of Jesus Christ. Let's dive into its depths together and uncover its profound significance for our faith and understanding. And he is the radiance of his glory and the exact representation of his nature, and upholds all things by the word of his power. When he had made purification of sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. In Hebrews 1 verse 3, we encounter a majestic proclamation of the supremacy and glory of Jesus Christ. The author of Hebrews paints a vivid picture of Christ's divine nature and exalted position, inviting us to marvel at his splendor and majesty. The Radiance of His Glory The verse begins by describing Jesus as the radiance of the glory of God. This imagery captures the essence of Christ's divine nature as the very embodiment of God's glory. Like the brilliance of the sun, illuminating the darkness, Jesus shines forth as the visible manifestation of God's glory, revealing his character, majesty, and splendor to the world. The exact imprint of his nature. The verse declares that Jesus is the exact imprint of his nature. Here we are confronted with the profound mystery of the Incarnation, the Son of God taking on human flesh to dwell among us. In Jesus, we behold not only the glory of God but also the perfect representation of His divine nature in human form. In Christ, deity and humanity converge in perfect harmony, offering humanity a glimpse of God's infinite love and grace. Upholding the universe by His Word Hebrews 1 verse 3 proclaims that Jesus upholds the universe by the word of his power. This statement underscores Christ's role as the sustainer and ruler of all creation. Through his divine authority and power, Jesus upholds the cosmos, maintaining order and coherence in the vast expanse of the universe. His word is the foundation upon which the entire created order rests, reflecting his sovereign rule over all things. Purification for sins Lastly, the verse highlights Jesus' redemptive mission, stating that he made purification for sins. Here, we encounter the heart of the gospel, the sacrificial death of Christ on the cross to atone for the sins of humanity. Through his perfect sacrifice, Jesus accomplished what no human effort could achieve, the forgiveness of sins and reconciliation between God and humanity. His blood, shed for us, cleanses us from sin and offers the gift of eternal life to all who believe. Implications for our faith As we reflect on the profound truths contained in Hebrews 1 verse 3, we are confronted with the majesty and grace of Jesus Christ. His radiant glory, perfect representation of God's nature, sovereign rule over creation, and redemptive work on the cross, demand our awe, reverence, and devotion. Living in response to Christ's majesty In light of Christ's majesty and grace, we are called to surrender our lives completely to his lordship. He is not merely a distant figure of history but the living Lord who reigns over all creation and offers salvation to all who call upon his name. Let us respond to his call with humility, faith, and obedience, yielding every aspect of our lives to his sovereign will and purpose. Spreading the radiance of his glory As bearers of Christ's light, we are called to spread the radiance of his glory to a world shrouded in darkness. Just as Jesus revealed God's glory to humanity, so too are we called to reflect his light in our words and deeds, proclaiming the gospel message of salvation to all who will hear. Let us shine brightly for Christ, illuminating the path to life and hope for a world in need of his grace. Beholding the majesty of Jesus Christ Hebrews invites us to behold the majestic glory of Jesus Christ, the radiance of God's glory, the exact imprint of his nature, the sovereign ruler of the universe, and the redeemer of humanity. May we fix our eyes on him, the author and perfecter of our faith, and may his splendor and grace transform our lives and illuminate the world around us.